Hey Gemini, hope you guys are all well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of November for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it's general, that means it's not going to be everybody's situation, but as always, you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. And all that information is in the description box. All right, and yeah, I always have to say that because otherwise, People email me asking the questions that are in the description. So that is why I mention it. All right, let's see. What is going on with Gemini? We have numbing, okay. Well, the, this definitely means that there is something here, right? In a connection with somebody else. Um, and somebody is numbing out there either their feelings or certain aspects of the connection could be you could be the other person let's see and numbing can involve a number of things um of course the most typical would be using alcohol but it could or drugs but it could be just about anything it could be somebody just avoiding a situation by immersing themselves in work even just video games, watching TV, or just trying to do other other things to numb out something that might be a little bit painful. So let's see, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of November. Okay, so for the situation, we have the High Priestess crossed by the Seven of Wands. Yeah, see, so this is definitely trying to block out something, okay? Something that your intuition is telling you. It could be the other person, okay? We will see. And also, roles can definitely be reversed, okay, in general readings. But somebody's intuition is speaking to them. There is something that their higher self is telling them, and this person is trying to block that out. There's some defensiveness here. All right, for your energy, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse, as well as the Devil in reverse. For them, we have strength in reverse and justice. All right, so a lot of major arcana already showing up here. Um, coming up for you, we have the three of pentacles in reverse. For them, we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. And potential outcome here, we have the two of swords in reverse. All right, Gemini. So you... I feel like, you know, you're... You're trying to release something here, possibly trying to release this connection. I feel like there was a part or an aspect of this connection that felt um, toxic to you and you are trying to release it. Um, it does It does feel like maybe there might be some numbing on your end, all right? Um, not to a crazy extent, but could be a little bit. This is a connection that has worn you out or that has just felt very um, draining. And I feel like you're at that point where you really want to release that. You just want out of the toxicity or you just want to get yourself um, feeling untrapped from this. Even if you wanted this connection, even if you still want this connection, you can still feel trapped in the sense of wanting a connection that isn't, um, doesn't seem to be working out. That's what I'm getting for you. We do also have Capricorn showing up here. We have Leo. We also have Libra. All right. But of course, could be any sign. Um, for them, I feel like this person... They want to do what is right, okay? They want to be really, really fair. They want to make a decision that is um, that they feel is the right decision. However, I feel like they know what that is, but at the moment, not feeling strong enough to actually go through with that. And because of that, I see them moving towards um, just not fully being independent or not fully being self-reliant um, or having a sense of self-worth in the sense of being able to execute this decision. For you, I see you just not wanting to participate, not wanting to be in this um, partnership anymore. All right, coming up. But we do have the Two of Swords in reverse here, which could talk about actually coming out of a stagnant um, period, all right, with this within this connection. So let's clarify and see. All right, so let's see the High Priestess crossed by the Seven of Wands. All right, we 
have the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Wands in reverse, and the Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, it's like somebody's blocking out their movement. Not taking, not taking much action, not moving things forward. I feel like right now things seem to be a little bit stagnant because somebody is just kind of blocking out their intuition. Like, nope, I know what's right, but nope, I'm just not going to move in that direction. Um, with the Page of Pentacles, though, I do feel like this person is a little bit... Um, they're open to learning, okay? Whether this is you or them. I, I'm kind of getting that this is them more so than you. I feel like they are learning through this experience. There is something here that is just a major lesson for them, but they're learning it in a, in a gradual process. So even though I feel like for some of you, there might be, you know, this person is giving you something like they're, they might be blocked out for the most part, but there is an aspect of them giving a little bit to this. All right, and again, I mean, this could be you, all right? It really depends. Roles can always be reversed. All right, so let's see that 10 of wands in reverse for your energy. The six of wands in reverse and justice showing up again. All right, so strong Libra um, showing up here. You're just tired of waiting for this decision that never seems to actually come through, basically. Almost like, you know, I feel like you may have been um, putting effort trying to trying to assist this person, okay, for some of you to bring this decision about or to, you know, um, to bring some kind of a balance or something in this connection. Trying to make things right, but it's like there, there was not a victory over that. There, it didn't, it didn't really pan out. Let's see the devil. All right, we have the tower in reverse and the star in reverse. All right, I'm telling you guys, a lot of major arcana. I feel like there's a lot of major lessons that are being learned here. Um, this is definitely a connection with somebody where it. Th th this is just not your typical um, connection, right? There's definitely a lot of lessons in this connection and possibly a lot of triggers. Um, just a lot of major things, major experiences that you are meant to have with this person, you know, even if they were negative. You, you're pretty much, I feel like you're in this space of losing hope. For this connection that's why you're trying to move away from it but then again at the same time there's a part of you there's a part of you that's numbing something out there's you're avoiding some kind of a tower here so for the most part yes you know i do see you trying to to release this and i try i see you trying to release fears and getting yourself out of a toxic situation for some of you that could even be um you know being obsessed or just overly attached Okay, because obsessed is kind of a heavy word. Um, just maybe a little bit o overly attached or just really wanting something that just isn't moving in the direction that you would want it to. And so that is painful. That is painful. And so that can cause us to, you know, try to numb out some of that, even if we are taking the steps to, to detach. So I feel like this is more of like, this is like a precaution, you know, don't um, try not to numb out everything that you are feeling. It can be helpful initially, um, but then, you know, if that happens for a prolonged period of time, it can be detrimental in other ways, in other areas of your life, or, you know, then it just serves as a self-defense mechanism. Don't be afraid of that tower. Allow it to fall, basically. All right, let's see. Let's see for them. Let's see strength in reverse. The Nine of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. 
yeah, so there's a, there's some resistance here. Um, I feel like there has been resistance from this person's end, but at the same time, I do see them trying to work on, again, on, on a decision, trying to make things right, trying to be fair, trying to bring justice to a particular situation. They're trying to do that, but I also feel like they're making a little more difficult than what it needs to be. And the reason is because they're they're feeling a little bit weak. They're feeling like they don't really have what it takes in order to do that. But they are still focused on that. They are still trying to work on that. I don't see them having given up. Let's see justice. All right, we have the queen of pentacles in reverse and we also have temperance in reverse. All right, so Aquarius showing up. Um, yeah, this person, again, it's it's the same message coming through. The reason why this person isn't able to bring about a balance or make um, the decision that they know is the right decision for them is because they're feeling they're feeling weak. They're feeling um, a low sense of self-worth or just doubting their own self here. They're not able to find that balance within themselves yet. And so I feel like this is like um, a prolonging, like whatever this decision is that this person is trying to make, it's just kind of being dragged out. And so that's why you um, just have the Hierophant flip over. Could be representing a marriage or just very strong traditional beliefs in something. All right, so let's see what's coming up. Let's see the Three of Pentacles for your energy. Yeah, okay. We have the Queen of Swords and the Moon, the Moon in reverse. So yeah, this is you keeping your distance from this person or trying to at least have your, um, your defenses up in a way where you're just trying to stay detached, basically. You're trying to stay detached you don't want any more um, turmoil. You don't want any more of, you know, not knowing what's going on, not knowing where this is heading. You want everything to be out in the open. And so I feel like you're being pretty clear about your stance here, that you're not willing to work with this person or collaborate or participate in a situation where things are not all out in the open. I do also kind of see you um, at the same time um, coming out a little bit of that numbing phase, which is good, having more clarity over the situation, but still not wanting to be a part of this, at least for now. All right, so let's see this Nine of Pentacles in reverse for them. All right. Um, the High Priestess in reverse and the King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, okay, so at least for the first half of November or, um, I mean, time is relevant, as I always say, but, you know, coming up in the near future, I see this person still kind of having to work through these challenges here that they are facing. All right, still needing to fully um, let their guard down when it comes to their intuition and their higher self and where it's guiding them. When it comes to their um, material world, it, it's like they're still kind of holding on to something that's not really in alignment with them. For now, let's see the Two of Swords. So we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the Page of Wands in reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They're all in reverse. All right, so what I'm getting here is that there is a movement away from stagnation, all right? The way that things have been um, recently or lately, it's moving away from that. So I feel like that's that's actually for the both of you. 
okay? It's just the reason why these are in reverse is because it's taking a little bit of time for that wheel to turn. It's just turning in a slow manner um, because there's still a lot that needs to be learned here. Like I said, you know, this is a very, um, this is a very strong connection. We didn't get, I know we didn't get many like lovey type of cards showing up, but we are getting a lot of major energies showing up, which is telling me that, yeah, this is an intense um, connection regardless. There, it's just that there's a lot of other lessons which are kind of taking the, um, the forefront, right, of the situation right now. That's like what the universe has in store for you with this is that there are other lessons that are more important at the moment rather than the actual love of the relationship for now. But again, overall, I mean, I do see that there is this potential. It's just that it's moving a little bit slowly. So yeah, coming out of that stagnation slowly but surely. Wheel is turning a little bit gradually here, but, but it's happening. So... Yeah, those are the messages for you, Gemini. I hope this made sense and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.